As sheriff, I am invested in bringing body-worn cameras to MCSO. Multnomah County Sheriff Nicole Morsi O'Donnell spent Tuesday morning sitting in front of the Board of County Commissioners, explaining to them why she and her leadership team plan to launch a body camera pilot program later this year. Body-worn cameras can improve multiple areas, including strengthening police accountability by documenting incidents and contacts between de deputies and our community and creating a visual and audio record resolving deputy-involved incidents and potential complaints. The sheriff says body cams can also improve agency transparency and evidence documentation, among other things. But not everybody is sold, at least yet. Commissioner Sushila Jaipal is skeptical about the cameras. We have seen very clearly that the wearing of body cameras has not stopped some truly um, I, I don't even have a word to describe it, but you know what I'm talking Like It hasn't changed behavior. Other concerns center around the viewing of recorded video. Sheriff Morsi O'Donnell says while the policy could very well change, as of right now, she intends to allow her deputies to review the video before writing reports or giving statements on all incidents, and that includes critical incidents like police shootings. The accuracy of reports, the member statements, along with other documentation is essential in any incident to receive and maintain the most accurate account of the events and to provide statements that are as complete as possible. The ACLU argues that allowing officers to view body cam video is poor investigative practice, undermines the legitimacy of investigations, and might even enable lying. This partly explains why the city of Portland and the police union have declared an impasse when it comes to body-worn cameras for the Portland Police Bureau. The city will allow the viewing of video with conditions, but the union is calling for officers to view video after all incidents, much like the plan in Multnomah County. I don't want to comment today on the process that Portland is going through with the city and their arbitration. What Sheriff Morsi O'Donnell will say is that she's eager to bring body cams to her department, and she says she's not alone. Our deputies have expressed that they want to move forward with this technology and enhance transparency and accountability. Again, the sheriff hopes to launch the pilot program later this year. The review of the pilot program would come in the spring of 2024, and all deputies could be wearing these body cams late next year. One more thing worth mentioning, just yesterday, the Vancouver Police Department rolled out its body camera program, and Salem PD did the same last week. David? Mike Benner in the newsroom. Thank you, Mike.